It's exciting to be here this morning. I hope everybody's had their coffee. I have a unique opportunity to talk with customers all around, you know, all around the country and all around the planet around what they're doing from an AI perspective and how they're architecting and building that architecture to, you know, just start off with their journey or to, you know, really accelerate kind of where they are in their journey. Um, one of the things that I really think about and, you know, I spent the last couple of weeks really kind of working through it is how, how much artificial intelligence is not only impacting all of us in this room, but what about the next generation? So I have a 16-month-old, and he loves this show called Little Baby Bum. So if there's any parents in the room, they've probably seen, seen the show. And if you haven't, it's basically just nursery rhymes that are cartoons that are, that are fun to watch, and you continue to watch them over and over. <laughs> but he'll, what Tommy will do is he'll run, and he'll, anytime he wants to watch it, he'll grab a remote, and he'll stood up, and he'll start trying to change, change the channel, right? And if, and if it doesn't work and his favorite show doesn't come on, I saw him the other day, he started talking into it. And I was like, wait a minute, he's 16 months old. He's talking into it, and he can't even talk. Like, he says, like, five words. And so what he's trying to do is he's seen his older sister and he's seen his parents talk into the remote or talk into things and, and make it go and do the things that they want to do. And so I, I just think that's amazing when you think about how it's impacting the next generation. But if you look at it, too, I mean, he's still going through that, and it's taken him 16 months to get there, and he still hasn't even perfected it. But the architectures and the models that we're building right now, we can, do, we can do overcome that and do that in weeks or months. And so if you just think about it, I mean, that's totally changing the way the next generation is. I mean, from my perspective, I remember as a kid, I can still tell you that Channel 33 was MTV or Channel 17 was ESPN, right? I mean, we all, we all in this room probably remember having to do that. But that's something, that's a concept that the next generation is not even going to have to have. And so when you, when you think about how much it's impacting and the things that are changing, but that's just one little aspect, right? You know, what about in medical research and a, lot, and a lot of the other places where we're really pushing it in the financial market? So I'm excited to be here to talk and to be able to interact with everybody and talk about how we can build architectures that can kind of speed up the AI revolution that we're seeing. And also, too, um, at Dell Technologies, we have a very special guest all the way from Hong Kong today who will be at our booth we're doing a special event tonight, uh, but make sure you come by and see our booth. Um, Sophia the Robot, so she is a celebrity whenever we talk about robots, but she's here to talk about all the things that are possible when we talk about artificial intelligence. And so she'll be at our booth here in the next 30 minutes to be able to come and talk, and you'll be able to interact with her and ask her questions and really you know, find some of us to talk about what's going on in the future of artificial intelligence and how you can build those architectures to really accelerate and really do what you do best as far as data science, right? And leave the infrastructure to us to help you speed, speed that up. So I hope everybody will come and join us. Come, feel free to come by, get a, get a selfie with Sophia, and come and hear, hear her talk about artificial intelligence and the future of AI. Thank you. <laughs> 